One of the biggest complaints people have about the Rebel 1100 is the stock seat, but in this box, we might have the solution. I think it's actually harder than the stock seat. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah, it's harder. Perfect. Welcome back to Life of Birch, this is Birch, and today we're replacing the stock seat on the Rebel 1100. Now, like I said, lots of people complain that the seat isn't very comfortable, but if you've seen the video where I talk about my favorite features of the 1100, the seat is actually one of my favorite parts about it. Not necessarily the comfort, but the features that it has, such as the helmet lock, the storage underneath, all that kind of good stuff. But of course, I'm sure you know, Honda offers the upgraded uh, custom rider seat, I believe it's called, which is the fancy diamond stitch seat. So we got that here today, it just came in, and we're gonna throw that bad boy on, go for a quick ride, and see if it's any more comfortable. So let's open this thing up and see what it's like. Now before I open it, I guess I will say my biggest thing about it, I like I said, I'm not even concerned about the comfort. I think the stock seat is actually decently comfortable. If this is more comfortable, that would be great. I'm hoping that Honda didn't just put a fancy new cover on it and charge an extra hundred and something dollars. I'm hoping that it's actually a little bit more comfortable, but my biggest concern past that is the fact that it's actually going to have the same base to that seat so that it's still going to have the helmet lock because that's the main reason why I wouldn't want to get an aftermarket seat is because I want to still have that feature. I want to get one of like the two person single seats but it's kind of hard to justify that because A, this is only like $100 and B, if you use this you can still just pop the seat off with the key as opposed to having to like unscrew it. But anyway, enough talking. Let's see what this thing's all about. I gotta be careful because I don't want to like accidentally cut the seat. Alright, the moment of truth. What's it gonna look like? Ooh, so we're seeing the bottom of it first, and this is a good sign. It's the same exact seat bottom. It has the uh, the hooks right here for the helmets, so that's awesome. Yo. Okay. This is actually better quality than I was expecting. It looks thicker, too. Hmm. That looks really good. Now, this isn't real stitching. This is just, like, stamped PVC or whatever it's considered, so I was really skeptical that, uh, that it would be good quality, but it actually feels like really good quality, especially for only, like, a hundred bucks. And then it has, like, the other, uh, fabric here, just like how this does, but you can see the stock one has, like, this texturized thing to it, and this is almost like a, like a fake leather. Wow, dude, this is gonna look so good. Same size. Looks like it has, like, a wrinkle in it, but that's fine. I'm sure that'll come out. And this one, you can see the stock seat. Hopefully you can see it has like air in it almost, like between the actual cushion and the liner. It's like stretchy and has some air. This one doesn't seem to as much. But it, this one does seem softer, I think. Only one way to find out. This is the easiest install you'll ever see. Step one, insert the key and push it all the way in. Step two, turn it. Step three, the seat pops off. As you can see, the bottoms are exactly the same. The foam looks to be a different color, so I don't know if it's softer or if it's just happens to be that way, but anyway. Let's throw this one on and see how it looks. Should go on just as easily as that one came off. It's not locking in. Is the key still turned? It's not locking in. Is this user error? There we go. Just had to push down on it a little bit. Dude, I need to step back and look at this. That looks really good. It definitely looks taller. So I'll say that it looks good, but I almost wish that this kind of came down further and carried the same line as the seat. Like you can see, it's like thinner up here and then widens down here. I kind of wish that the uh, stitched part kept the same shape of the seat, you know what I mean? But I mean, for a hundred bucks, that totally changes the look of the bike. Let's sit on it and see how it feels. That's what she said. Ooh, this might be in my head, but I feel like it uh I feel like it's more comfy and I feel like I sit like I'm able to sit further back on it whereas the stock seat kind of rolled my buns forward you know what I mean could be in my head but it definitely feels like a slightly different seating position and now keep in mind they do make one of these that's called the uh I think it's called the forward custom rider seat it's designed to scoot you an inch closer for uh, shorter riders to have a better reach this is not that one 
Oh, well see, now that it's actually on there, it kind of does have that air cushion in between the lining and the padding like the uh, stock seat did. I will say, maybe I didn't notice it with the other one, but it seems like there's more of a gap here than with just the stock one, which is kind of concerning because when I washed my bike last night, even just with the stock seat, I noticed that I sprayed the bike down and then I popped the seat off to get some uh, microfiber towels from underneath it. And when I popped it off, the towels were wet, like water got through here into the storage, which is kind of concerning because obviously I want to store my documents and everything down there and I don't want them getting soaking wet. Now that I noticed that, I can't unsee it. Let's pop that off and put the stock one back on to see. Because like I feel like I can almost like see these bolts a lot better too. Pop this boy on. No, I lied. It's the exact same. All right, so let's throw that seat back on. And then instead of just doing like a baseline of like, oh, I sat on it and it felt better. We're going to throw that one on and we're going to go for a quick trip to get tacos because this is Life of Birch. If you've seen the channel before, you know we're all about going on rides to get tacos. And if this is your first time watching the channel, make sure to subscribe because you're going to see a lot more of this bike and a lot more tacos. Yeah, it's definitely harder to click in, but it still does it. But uh, yeah, so anyway, the taco place is like 15 minutes away. So we'll hop on, do a quick little like half hour road trip to get tacos and come back and see what, uh, what it feels like on an actual ride. All right, now let's get all this stuff cleaned up and on the bike in three, two, one. And just like that, we are in the thick of things. I've only really pulled out of my neighborhood so far, but uh, I want to say the seat actually feels almost like firmer than stock. That might not be a bad thing necessarily because I feel like if you're on like a soft seat after a while, it kind of like breaks down and like you kind of, your butt starts digging into a little bit. So maybe with this firmer seat, it'll kind of last longer before you start getting that like uncomfortable feeling. But uh, I guess we'll see. Also, I just installed the Two Brothers exhaust. If you haven't seen that video, yet definitely go check that out i uh, literally did that this morning before putting the seat on and it sounds so good so yeah that'll be the video right before this one go check it out there's normally a pretty big bump on this bridge so let's see how it feels with this seat huh okay might be in my head but it feels like it kind of uh, cushioned my booty a little bit more than usual all right so we haven't been out too long so far but i gotta say so far i'm kind of like torn on if i like the seat or not it definitely feels firmer than the stock seat and like you know i only have a thousand miles on the bike so it's like how much can the stock seat actually break in over a thousand miles but also like i feel like i remember how it felt before breaking in and this seat just feels firmer it's just weird because like part of my brain is saying that it's a firmer seat and the the other part of my brain is saying that it's more comfortable over bumps. Hmm, interesting. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys with the full ride going to get the tacos. Plus I wanna kinda have some time to not worry about like the video and just worry about focusing on if I like the seat or not. So we're gonna do a quick little teleport to the tacos, eat them up, and then we'll get back on the road and see how we feel. So we will teleport to tacos in three, two, one. Oh yeah, if only it was actually that easy. Let's dig in and then we'll hop back on and talk about my impressions so far. Oh man, that was delicious as always. Taqueria El Primo, always coming through clutch. Now, as I was eating, I had plenty of time to sit there and kind of look at the bike. And the more I think about it, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the seat. I don't know if you can tell like from the GoPro, but it's like... I don't know almost like too puffy or something like that like it just looks too rounded like it puffs up it just looks like a I don't know like a puff ball and like I said like this doesn't really follow the lines of the seat like it should when you push it down all the way it kind of does so like maybe it follows the lines when you're sitting on it but that doesn't matter most of the time people are looking at it is when it's just sitting there and I think that's part of what like makes it have kind of the puff ball look is that it just needs to follow the lines of the seat and not look like as rounded. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. Let's get out of here and talk about it more. So like I said, I'm not entirely sold on this seat just yet. Granted, I've only been on it for like, I don't know, 20 or 25 minutes, but I was expecting to fall in love with it immediately and that didn't happen. It looked like it would look really cool because of like the stitched look, the diamond stitched look, whatever, but it just looks kind of like bulbous. And like the bulbous look would be almost like forgivable if the seat was more comfortable, but it's not. On the ride to top, 
tacos, I kind of took some time to focus on how it felt and like see if I actually liked it. And I gotta say, the longer I sit on it, the firmer it feels. And like I said, that might end up like breaking in, but I don't even remember my stock seat feeling this firm right off the bat. But I don't want to give it too much negativity right away when I haven't even ridden it that much. So this is just kind of like the preliminary review, I guess. I'll have to do a, uh, a long-term review if I end up keeping it on long-term. But right now we're going to pass through downtown Annapolis to uh, get some more seat time, see how it feels. And I'm also going to see if Amir is working, because if he is, he's probably down here on his Rebel 1100. So it'd be cool to have this next to that and be able to get right off this seat, right onto his stock seat and be able to compare it. So uh, let's head down there and keep our fingers crossed. Yay, okay, side-by-side -side comparison to see how that seat feels compared to mine. Okay, hop straight off of that. People are going to be like, what the heck's going on? Is he stealing this motorcycle? Hop straight onto his. <sighs> Yeah, dude, I gotta say, the stock seat's actually more comfortable. It might all be in my head. Let's go back over here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, there's a mirror. Dude, <laughs> I'm like, he's gonna think this is so weird if he comes out. I'm finishing up a video, so I got the new... Nice! The new seat, but sit on it. I think it's, I think it's actually harder than the stock seat. I was like, maybe a mirror will be down here and I can test it out. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> test all the different positions and then go sit on yours like it might be in my head but i think i think the stock one's more comfortable weird you bought it from honda yeah that's the honda one how weird is that maybe because it's just brand new that's what i was thinking but i was thinking like even when i first got this bike i feel like the seat was still pretty soft yeah it's harder yeah it's harder <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to wrap up the video. Now you have my opinion and Amir's opinion. It looks cool, but for some reason it's harder than the stock seat. But I'll do kind of a long-term review and check back in once I put some miles on that to let you guys know if it's softened up. Uh, for now, I guess I'm kind of happy with my purchase. Makes the bike look cooler for 100 bucks, but I really wish it was softer. Fingers crossed it breaks in. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out the video that I put out with the Two Brothers exhaust that I mentioned earlier. And uh, yeah, dude, isn't it sick? <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.